Okay, our tribe is located right here in Bristol. This Bristol area was uh, some of our most sacred land. It's in Bristol at Mount Hope. Um, so we're just here today and we're going to tell you a little bit about ourselves. We're going to do some drumming for you and some singing and a little bit of dancing. And everyone's been talking, what was that smell? Why does it smell like smoke in here? So, Roger, can you explain about smudging? Yes. Smudging is very sacred to us. It's a cleansing that anybody that's going into the circle of the uh, powwow must be smudged because it has already been all cleansed and we have to keep it clean. We all pick up negative things during the day. You don't even realize it sometimes. So that's to get rid of anything negative. Okay? And that consists of sage, tobacco, cedar leaf, and I also put uh, a few other herbs in. Uh, but, uh, so you just have a good time today, and I hope you enjoy us as we're going to enjoy you people. I hope. Thank you, Roger. So, I want to just first tell you, this is our drum. The hot, we call it the hot beat of Poconokit. That's the hot beat of our tribe, is our drum. And some of the men here made that drum. Um, before we ever beat the drum, we always say prayers. One of the things we do, it's, we use tobacco in a lot of our ceremonies. So we take the tobacco and we sprinkle it on our drum and we say a prayer to it. We hold our arm to the Creator and we say a prayer and we put our prayer through the tobacco onto the drum. And then we believe that when we beat the drum, all of our prayers go up to our Creator. So that's what you're seeing everyone here doing. They're saying a prayer to the Creator and putting them on the drum. And I'm going to do that too. the drum, the women are in the back on the line, and we all, some of the men are here, sagging ones here, we put our hand on the drummer's shoulder so that we're all connected to our drum. God, the creator of all things, I would love to have this really sing well for the children today. This was made from the tree from the deer skin, and it was put together with prayers in, in, a, in a special way. Oh, uh -huh. And we say aho at the end of our prayer. It's like you may be, a lot of you are probably familiar with saying amen at the end of prayers, right? We say aho, it's the same thing. It's like you agree with the prayer and you say aho, agreement. So be it. So be it. And we use that a lot. So we're going to start with a song that we, this is the song that we always sing when we first open the drum. So we're going to sing that song for you. If at any time you want to sing along, just please just join in. Um, it's Tabatni Wuchi. Tabatni Wuchi. We're thanking the creator for this song. The party won't change as ten days I The party won't change as The The Thank you for that. So, we're going to be singing 
some more songs and doing a little dancing and we're gonna have someone wanna tell a story. We're gonna try to teach you one of our songs. Um, but before all of that, we want to have our Sagamore talk a little bit to you. We have several, well, maybe four chiefs in our tribe. And then we have a Sagamore. The Sagamore is the head of the chiefs. He's over all the chiefs of the tribe. And, and here he is. And the nation, excuse me. Poconoke tribe, Poconoke nation. So there's several other tribes in our nation. We are the headship tribe of the nation of the Poconoke. Yeah. Thank you. Tanishka. You say Tanishka? That means hi, hello, my name is. You know, what time is it? Afternoon. How about Kwara Kwakwa, Wani? That means good afternoon. Kwara Kwakwa, Wani. Can you say that? So when you go home today, you can say good afternoon to your mom and dad, right? <laughs> okay. All right, gee, it's so nice to be here today. I'm honored to be here uh, before the uh, Hawako School. And I uh, just want to tell you that I am the. Uh, my name is Paul Walby Neopog. My Christian name is William Guy. But Paul Walby Neopog, and I am the Sagamore of the Poconoco tribe of the Poconoco Nation. And actually, the full name of our tribe is the Council of Seven Royal House Poconoco Tribe of Poconoco Nation. And uh, have you, any of you ever heard of Poconoco Tribe before? No? Have you ever heard? Of, you have. Very good. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Wapano? Yeah. Uh, Wapano, okay, so Poconoke is the name of this nation when the colonists came to this country. Uh, the people that greeted them was the Massasoit, who was from the Poconoke tribe. And in the year in the year 1675-1676, the colonial government outlawed the word Poconoke. And they start calling us Wampanoa. And if you were a male 14 years of age and older, and you said you were Poconoke, they could kill you on site. That was during the King Philip War. How many of you have ever heard of the King Philip War? Okay, and you heard of Metacoma? Do you, do you know who Metacoma is? Metacoma and King Philip are the same person. Okay. King Philip was his Christian name, which uh, they uh, petitioned the courts for. But King Philip, during the King Philip War, they outlawed the word Poconoke. So anything prior to the King Philip War, any map you see prior to the King Philip War, 1675, it'll say right on the Poconoke country or, or King Philip country. The first 50 years of encounters with the European, they never even heard of the word Wampanoag. That's the name that they gave us because they outlawed the name. And so uh, if you look at the Mass Archaeological Society, They'll tell you it's the first 50 years of encounters with the Europeans. They never even heard of Wampanoag. It's not written anywhere, and it's not in their records anywhere. So like I say, that's something that came around during the King Philip War. Now, Poconoke tribe, when the English came here, was the largest Indian nation in colonial America. There were over 60 tribe, bands, and clan in our tribe, or in our nation, I should say. And uh, when you talk Wampanoag, you're really talking about a nation. The tribes in Wampanoag would be the Pocasset Wampanoag, or the Namasset Wampanoag, or the Akuna Wampanoag, the Champaquitic. But at one time, that was all Poconoke was the nation. So that's uh, that's where we come from. And the Massasoit, who ever heard of the Massasoit? Was that his name? A lot of people think that was his name. Actually, that was a title. It meant great leader. He was the great leader of the largest Indian nation in colonial America. His name was Osamequin. In our language, Osamequin means yellow feather. And King Philip, better common, was his son. Was his second eldest son, because his first eldest son, Warm Sutter, uh, was poisoned in Plymouth Colony. And uh, that's when, he, he was the Massasoit after, after Osamequin died. Warm Sutter became the, the Massasoit. And then uh, after him being poisoned, uh, uh, King Philip uh, Batacano became the, uh, the Massasoit. So, that's a little bit about our nation. I'm going to tell you who I am. I am the 10th gener generation great grandson of the Massasoit, Osamequin, who welcomed the progress of this country and who give you the Thanksgiving. You know the Thanksgiving you celebrate? 
Well, then was I trying to defend the, the Pilgrim? It wasn't the Maspies, it wasn't the Chappaquiddick, it was the Pocahontas tribe of the Pocahontas nation. And that Thanksgiving that you celebrate is what we invited the Pilgrims, so we fed them, they didn't feed us. We opened up our storehouses, and met a common boy, eight did at that feast. And it, actually, we had a uh, celebration here in Bristol, and I think it was the year 2000, it was put on by the Bristol Parks <laughs> Department and the uh, Town Council and the Pocahontas Tribe. It was at, at down in Mount Hope. You know what Mount Hope is? Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's where we had that celebration, we the cove on the Mount Hope farm side. And there were over 500 people that came to that, that event. Uh, this was back in 2000, and uh, we fed the people. And guess what we had to eat that day? What do you have on Thanksgiving? Turkey. Turkey. What else? Bobby? Yeah, stuffing. Yeah, stuffing. How about some other meats? Go ahead, tell me one. Well, I don't have this, but you might have had venison. Yeah, we had deer meat. I told you, King Philip Point ate deer in that, that piece. We had turkey, we had deer meat, we had bear meat, we had corks, we had lobsters. This was all at the, at the, at, at the uh, Thanksgiving renewal that we did in the year 2000. And I think. Uh, Trying to think who was ahead of the box department, and I think he still still is ahead of the box department in the town of Bristol. Uh, just can't think of his name because his family was well known. He used to be singers. I don't know if you know the family. I can't think of his name. But I, I'm, you're gonna have to forgive me because I'm I'm getting up there in age. I'm closer to 80 than I am to 70. So you're gonna have to forgive me. But <laughs> but I am the 10th generation great grandson of the master so also me to welcome pilgrims to this country. I am the ninth generation great grandson of King Philip, or Metacomet. And I am the sixth generation great grandson of Simeon Simons. And this is Simeon Simons. This was George Washington's hand picked body guy. He received a pension from the United States government as a continental soldier. And a continental soldier had a higher pension than a regular army. But this is the only man that George Washington trusted to watch over him when he slept. And if you ever see the picture of George Washington crossing the Delaware, the Indian in the book, Simeon Simons, my great grandfather. The reason why I'm telling you this, this is King Philip's great grandson. So that's how my line comes down. And he is actually on the bicentennial coin of the town of Griswold, Connecticut. This portrait isn't, by the way, is in the town hall of Griswold, Connecticut. It wasn't in the London town hall. And now my family had to move back to the uh, Griswold Town Hall. He is also on the Bicentennial Coin of the Town of Griswold, Connecticut. Uh, two years, 200 years celebration of the country, United States, 1776 to 1976. And I'll show you that coin after, where right? I have an army. But that's a little bit about who we are. And uh, yes, so you have a question? Oh, you don't? <laughs> I thought you had a question too. Okay. Do you have any questions? Well, I'm going to turn this right back over to our council president, Running Deer. Thank you, Sagamore. Thank you. Okay, we're going to sing and drum another song.
I guess we're going to have to get the guys up here after that. I'm going to have to get up there with the guys, I think.
gentle with it. Is that your rule? Is that your rule? Yeah. See, we use deer skins for a lot of things in our culture. Like my regalia, we call our, this, the clothes that I have on, this is called regalia. It's made of deer skin. So is the drum is made of skin, deer skin too. King Philip, during the King Philip War, and he was in his 80s when they captured him up there in Rehoboth. And, and you could hear, you, he could be heard saying, Alutash, Alutash. That means stand firm in our language. Don't give up. Alutash, stand firm. That's what that means. Alutash. But I just want to show you, this is, this is the last chief. The last chief in our tribe was Princess Redwing, and I don't know, I, probably some of you got old enough to know, Princess Redwing, but she was the last chief in our tribe before me, all right, and she died in 1988, yesterday. How many of you have ever seen that mural downtown province, the big mural of the Indian princess, have any of you ever seen that? It's a downtown province on a building? Well, that was our last chief, Princess Redwing, that's, it was on the news, and it's still up there, did you get in the pine tree that you get this? I don't know if you've seen it, but there's a woman holding this portrait of uh, Princess Redwood that says an Indian princess. Well, she was a princess. But she was also the chief. She was the chief before me. So I am the first male chief in Philip's line since his death in 1676. Wow. August of 1676. We've had, we've had all the female chiefs. We've had male leaders. But I am the first male Chief in Phillips Line, directly from Phillips Line, and I'll try since then. We have a couple of questions. What? Question? Yes. So, um, every year in the summertime, like the beginning of school year, um, we have this a Fagali, and we name a chief each year. And since it landed on my birthday, my uncle chose me to be the princess. Ooh. And my I got chose as my name. Little what wing. is your name? Little Wings. Little Wings? Oh, that's nice. very nice. Very nice. Yes, what are you going to say? We have some. Oh, well, we, <laughs> we're going to have you up here. You can look at everything that's on the table, all right? I, I think uh, yeah. 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 it would be okay. easier that way. Do you want to do another song? Um, yeah. Do you want us to sing another song, or would you rather come up and to look at the things we have on the table. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 So when I have my arrows, I just throw it up on my shoulder like this. Okay? And that's how you do it. 
Tim, the part of the council, where Master Sawyer made his decision to leave the pillar to stay in the pillar. All right, and that's a dream catcher there. Like one that's, that's one that my wife made. Don't touch the trash. Don't touch the trash. It's the Fortnite. You know what that is? It's the gorge. You know what it's, it's a vegetable. You know what they call when do the gorge? The rattles on That's the vegetable. What is this? That is a, that's a real cool. And don't give me this here. Oh, I don't want you guys touching that. This is very sharp. That's why I have this sheath on here. What do you think this is made of? What's that made of? Huh? Antlers, right? Antlers. What is that? What is this here? What's that? Isn't that a limb of a tree? Let it go. Isn't that a limb of a tree? That's a limb of a tree. And that's an antler. Well, how would you like to get hit with that? Huh? That would go right through you. Wow. Wow. Kill you. That was a war club. That's a war That's a war club.